Hello everyone, it's Will, and welcome back to another episode of Hold Fast Marine DIY Tips and Tricks for the boat owner. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fiberglass over plywood, but you guys already know that because you clicked on the thumbnail to watch this video, so thank you for that already. The mock-up that I have right here kind of represents uh, fiberglassing a stringer into the deck of your boat. Or if you focus on this angle here, this may be fiberglassing your new transom into the hull of your boat, or at the same time, fiberglassing your new deck into the sidewalls of your boat, into the hull. Folks, this may seem like an incredibly daunting task to take on yourself, but I can assure you this is a lot easier than you think it is. I have full confidence that each and every one of you who attempts to try this can have a successful result if you follow all of the steps and the tricks that I'm about to show you in this video. As always, we're going to be using Total Boat Structural Repair Putty and Total Boat's Polyester Laminating Resin. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this project. So what I've already done here is I have pre-wetted this entire surface out. And the reason that I've done that is we want this polyester resin to sink into the pores of the MDO that we're using. This is the step that everybody forgets to do. You have to put the polyester resin over the top of all of this, let it soak in, add another coat, so that all of these pores are filled. If they're not, when you lay your fiberglass over the top of this, it's gonna draw all of that resin out of the uh, fiberglass and into the wood and give you a bad layup. The other thing that I've gone ahead and done is I have pre-cut all of my pieces of fiberglass that we're gonna use for this layup. We have a piece, a few pieces of 1708, and then we have some chop strand matting, all cut and they're actually layered in the order that I'm gonna to use to lay these up ready to go. If you guys look, I have some screw holes in here and that is to represent maybe you've attached something um, and we're gonna just fill these holes up with some of the structural repair putty. That's what we're gonna be using to create our fillets here as well as fill in all of these screw holes. Now you may be asking me, Will, why not just add some silica or some cabosil for instance to your polyester resin to thicken it up and make peanut butter? Oh, that's a pretty simple reason for that. I'm filming. I'm talking to you guys. I would have to wear a respirator to use the silica, and if you breathe in silica dust, you're gonna die. You're just gonna die, because this stuff is so toxic to breathe in, and I would rather not use that. Total Boat makes this structural repair putty. In the structural repair putty are milled glass fibers, as well as thickening agents, and you mix this just like you would your polyester resin, and we can add it in our little corners here and in our screw holes. Now that we have all of this mixed up, and trust me, you wanna stir this up really, really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and just get some on my stirring stick here, and I'm just gonna apply some of these holes. It's like wood putty. Get it all in there. Now, what I've done off camera is I have rounded over this larger stir stick here, and I'm gonna use that to create um, the fillets along the edge. Now, you could use a, an old uh, popsicle stick. Popsicle sticks work great, large ones. Um, but I like a nice large radius here because it's much easier to fold the glass. And I'm just gonna bring this down the edges of like this using the radius here. Every single time I mix up some of this uh, polyester <laughs> repair putty, I have so much left over. I wish somebody out there made a cup that was only one ounce uh, instead of these that are two and total boats that are four ounce. Um, does anybody out there know of a, a mixing cup that only has one ounce marks on it? If you do, please let me know in the comments. Now that we have our fillets laid, we can go ahead and start adding our glass. I have some uh, resin that hasn't cured yet uh, to start doing this. So I'm gonna grab my first piece. Uh, which is this one here, and I'm going to just apply it into the corner, like that. And then I'm going to start uh, wetting it out, just using the brush. And we start in the corner there and work our way out and up. Now we're gonna do the large piece that goes over the top. This is the one that gets uh, super intimidating uh, for a lot of people. We've got our piece here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it pretty much right in the middle of the piece. And just give it a little tap down. And what you're gonna see here is some magic. I'm gonna start laying 
some poly resin up at the top here. And I'm really gonna saturate this. Really, 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 really gonna saturate it. Now look, not holding anything. Do you see that? You guys see? You see how the piece is bending down? It's folding down, right? The reason it's doing that is all the binder agent that's inside of here, the polyester resin is, is dissolving. So it's gonna allow this piece to flatten down. This is the key, folks. You gotta start at the top and work your way down. So I'm gonna come in here now and start just touching the sides down. Now that we've gotten the top uh, over, I'm gonna take my last piece, which is I'm gonna tie uh, this side in over here. And Now I'm gonna take my fin roller and I'm gonna to start to roll this out. This is a very large fin roller for this application, but it's what I have at the shop. My, my mini fin roller is on the Repco Lobster Boat. Now I'm gonna take my 1708 and I'm gonna lay this across. And a question that I get asked a lot is, which side out, the chop or the mat? Well, I like to use the chop side out because when I cover this with gel coat to cure it, I want it to uh, you know, be easier to sand. Uh, what do you guys use? Do you use chop side out or do you use mat side out? Just let me know. And here we go. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna saturate this very heavily at the top and start letting this poly resin eat those binders. You'll watch it, same thing as before, you're gonna watch it start to fold down. And I'm gonna keep adding this until it becomes semi-transparent. And now we have one piece of 1708 that ties all of that. And if you notice here, it goes down into that radius. It's time to add the last uh, two small pieces of our uh, 1708 here. Give them a little bend. And go ahead and stick her right in there. All right, everybody, um, we had a pretty successful glass layup here. There's really no uh, air bubbles to be seen in here uh, at all. Um, and I am extremely uh, happy with it. Now that the glass layup is done, we have a couple options here on how to cure this because we used laminating uh, polyester resin. Uh, we can either uh, spritz this down with some PVA, polyvinyl alcohol, or we can go over this with some finishing gel coat. This is where I recommend to you not to use PVA. And the reason that I say not to use PVA is because this is plywood. And once that PVA is cured, in order to get it off, we have to wash it off with soap and water. And if you wash this off with soap and water, we could get water infiltration into uh, the plywood and <laughs> we want to keep the water out of the plywood. So I would recommend uh, using a finishing gel coat over the top of this, a nice light coat that will cure it. For those of you who want to learn how to roll and tip gel coat or to spray gel coat, I highly recommend you check out either this video on how to spray or this video on how to roll and tip. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody else, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you next time.